I'm Yanis Sheng you are and in this tutorial I am showing you the AI suggested uh, Air Force Barrage and that looks beautiful but let's give it a little bit of adjustments all right let's get down to business so to create the airstrike barrage you need to make a object creation list entry so what you need to do is go to the China airdrop or the uh, uh, America Thunder Thunderbolt or the B2 or B3 and the B52 or the any China uh, carpet bomber it's all the same thing it's all the similar ideas so in this case what I did was I did the EMP pulse bomb I did the Thunderbolt a 10 attack and then I did the b3 mother of all bombs and then the b52 carpet bomb strike and so the idea is as you saw there's a bit of an issue with spacing there so we're going to what we're going to do is make our own version so we're going to copy over the transport items and we're going to just put a b at the end of it to make it a airstrike barrage special and we're going to copy these uh, units over into the particular file and uh, then we're going to mod from there so what we're going to need to open is the special power objects and we are going to also open up China Air and we're going to open up Locomotor. So we're going to find these objects and copy them over into our special powers object one. So now that we copied them over, let's not forget to uh, rename them. All right, so step one is we're going to play with the locomotors. As we saw in the previous video, the B-53, or rather the B-3 hit first, and then everything kind of hit at the same time. So what we're going to do is go check out the locomotors. So let's identify the locomotors. It's A-10 Thunderbolt, B-52, B-3, and B-52 again. And now we're going to copy them over and call them our own version. So we're just going to do the AB again with that. My apologies. I actually skipped ahead a little bit here. I uh, didn't realize I wasn't recording. So um, so first and foremost, as you can see, this green line in here, this is the new locomotors that I added. They're pretty self-explanatory, and they're pretty much the same as they were. So the A-10 is still the A-10. I made it slightly slower. That's all I did for that one. Um, I added a Fusion B-52 because this is the EMP one. And actually, I think I'm going to make that a little bit faster based on my last test. Um, and then that's the B-52, and then the B-3. Um, the B-3 I didn't even bother, but I'm actually going to slow down the B-3 to, to that. And yeah, I think that works. And then you can be, yeah, you can be f full 150. I know you don't have any reference for any of this, but it may, it'll make sense. It's just a slight difference. Um, yeah. All right, so now that we're at this point where we can use it, let's take a look how it looks. Hey, future Yanis, uh, show a replay of how it originally shot. See, as you see here, they um, are not exactly lining up at how they should, you know, be a synergetic attack. And I have no idea what it's showing. Uh, so let's go check it out in real time. Looks like I need to fix my B3 bomber a little bit, and yeah. Uh, I, I would call that mostly a success. What I actually did is I went into editing the locomotors, which is, again, this is the speed. So I, I might need to slow down a little bit there, for example. Um, but more importantly, if we go back to the object creation list, I added a few more code things copying over from the A-10 Thunderbolt. And let's go into uh, some explanation of what this is. So remember in the beginning, the transport is the actual unit that is going to drop the actual bombs of whatever that is. The formation size 
that's exactly what it sounds like. How many units? As you saw, I had three EMPs. So formation, spacing, as you saw, they are pretty spread out. Exactly. That's all you need to know. And then you just need to know the payload, which is the EMP pulse bomb. Um, if you want to play with other things, for example, the delivery distance you can play with, um, it'll be self-explanatory and all that jazz too. You can just get the instructions by reading other th units that were within the code programmed. Um, I'm not going to go over all that. You, you need to study that yourself. And uh, in this case, uh, best of luck and uh, knowledge brings victory, Commander. Future Yen is here. Don't forget to uh, check out the Discord. There's already, I can't believe, 41 offline members. I, I think there's like 50 people at least. Uh, it's just, it's crazy. How could there be that many people? I can't believe I have uh, over 100 subscribers. Wow, you are awesome. What's going on here? Check out the link below.